Without even knowing you or your specific situation, I'm gonna make a bold recommendation. You need to quit social media marketing now. So Nate, you are out here telling people to not do the thing that they've been doing for the last 15 years. Everybody's saying, hey, you got to you got to do your social media marketing. What is it? Are, are there is there a common misunderstanding about what social media marketing actually is? And is that what yeah. you're kind of talking about? So what, I, what I'm hoping, I wanted to catch her attention because there needs to be a paradigm shift. OK, I need you to look at social media marketing differently. What you're currently doing is not marketing, you're nurturing. Okay, you've got a following on Facebook, you've got a following on Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter, whatever platform you're using, right? And when you put content out there, you are nurturing your existing tribe. But the, the big misconception is that we are marketing our business, that somehow more and more people are gonna find us this way. And that, that just isn't true, it isn't a reality. But is that bad? Like, is it, like nurturing the tribe that you have, like that's a good thing, right? Yeah, nurturing your tribe is, is great. It, it's great, but I think that a lot of people are putting more time, more money into it than they would if they realized that that's all that it was accomplishing. If you spend all of your time nurturing, is there a way for you to grow other than people just sharing the content that you have? No, so you, you hit on referrals. The more you nurture your tribe, the happier your tribe is and the more that you will be referred. But referral, that type of growth is very slow. It's very gradual. You have to be doing something outside to have new people find you. Okay, so we're gonna shift a paradigm here now that we know that we're not supposed to be nurturing. So how exactly do you market on social media instead of just nurturing? Every platform has a unique formula. So on Facebook, I actually only know one formula that doesn't involve paying. I mean, there's, there's a paying formula where you could pay for ads to a promo video and to your sales funnel. But if you're talking about organic growth and a formula of posting to Facebook so you can really grow your audience, I only know of one formula. It's the stay at home chef with Rachel Farnsworth. She posts one minute episodes, but there's a whole formula that she follows of, of the network of people that share her videos that she shares theirs, how many years that she's been doing it and how she generates revenue from it. It's very, very strategic. There is a lot of work and a lot of energy behind the scenes. She's actually posting content about 15 to 20 times every single day. You have to know that formula. On LinkedIn, LinkedIn requires a specific formula. You can post videos, maximum of 10 minutes, but you have to post articles. You can post images or infographics as well. But then there's a whole bunch of other things that you've got to do. You've got to comment on other people's posts. You've got to engage with them. You've got to endorse other people and you've got to get other people to endorse you. So there's, there's this whole interaction. You've got to, they, they track it by your social selling index. So like four or five different areas. I think it's four. You have to be high in all of those areas to, to promote. Look at it this way. LinkedIn has a different algorithm than Facebook has a different algorithm than YouTube and to really grow and to get those algorithms to promote us to new audiences, we have to create content in a specific way and we have to follow that formula. So Nate, you, why are you telling people to quit? I mean, are you, are you telling them to quit unless they know the formula that, that works? And why do you recommend YouTube so much? Yeah, so that, that is what I'm saying. I'm saying quit all the busy work, quit all the posting for the sake of posting and actually post strategically. I recommend starting with one platform Obviously, I'm biased towards YouTube because I really know that formula and I've gotten great, great results there. The outcome that you can get from YouTube is growing a massive, massive following. You can leverage search. So instead of just nurturing your existing tribe, you can find people who are searching for your expertise that have never heard of you before. You can't do that on LinkedIn. You can't do that on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Okay, All these other platforms don't have good search engines. YouTube search engine is amazing and Google will send people to YouTube as well. So again, people are searching for your expertise. They have questions that you're the best person to answer. So by answering those questions on YouTube, if you follow my leaf strategy, I'll link to that right up there. If you follow that strategy, these people find you and your audience is growing. Now YouTube has another huge advantage. Their algorithm works as a promotion engine. When you make videos that make YouTube money, they promote those videos. 
I've had videos get millions and millions of views without going viral. These are how-to topics. How-to content does not go viral. In my experience, never had one go viral, but I've had many videos get millions and millions of views because YouTube promoted them. And guess, that, guess what that did to my tribe and to my business revenue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, guessing it grew quite a bit. I've got four silver play buttons. The biggest channel that I've produced is over 600,000 subscribers now. Channels producing seven figures monthly. Okay, so that's, that's what's possible on YouTube. But Nate, well, I guess what you're saying is that you're not just doing that by like randomly posting videos. Like you understand the formula and then you're following like a very specific strategic formula in order to get the growth that you've gotten. All right. So you, you've got to have the right topics and titles. You've got to title your videos the right way. And there's techniques that I teach where you can know for sure how many people are searching for that title. You've got to have the, the videos be the right length. You don't want it too long. You don't want it too short. You want a good average. You've got to have a good average view duration. So there's a certain amount of, of watch time. If you've got a 10 minute video, let's say, and people are leaving after one minute or two minutes, YouTube's not going to promote that video. You've got to have an, an average of at least 50% for YouTube to start recommending those videos to other people. You've got to do custom thumbnails. Okay? And you've got to be posting at a certain frequency per week. I go into a lot more detail on this strategy in a video that I'll link to right up there. It's how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in a day. So I recommend you watch that video next.